You're in a job interview and you want to talk about your accomplishments and your achievements and you want to sound confident but you don't want to sound arrogant or you're at work and you want to share a win but you don't want to come off as sounding cocky about it. Well, how can you tell what's the difference and what can you do to not cross that line? This question came from a viewer and is especially important to consider when you're wanting to make a good first impression. I'm Jen Swanson and I'm going to give you two strategies today and if you stay till the end, I will let you in on a secret that you won't want to miss. So hit that like button and let's get started. Let's define. First of all, in my opinion, one has to do with convincing and the other has to do with knowing. Arrogance involves the need to have to convince yourself and everyone else that you are all that, that you are amazing and talented and that you have skills and knowledge. Arrogance has an air of superiority to it, a smugness, and sometimes it involves the need to one up others. Arrogant people don't often feel the need to learn or even to listen to other people. Arrogance lacks humility. And in some cases, in many cases, self-awareness. Next definition is confidence. Confidence involves a knowing without having to broadcast it to everyone. It involves knowing your own strengths and almost more importantly, knowing your own weaknesses or your limitations. Now, this is not to say that you can't talk about your skills or your achievements. You have to do that in a job interview situation. True confidence includes humility. It includes self-awareness. It includes the willingness to learn and to listen and the ability to admit mistakes. Now, strategy one is to check in with yourself to get real. Do you actually listen to others or do you prefer to hear yourself talk? And do you get defensive or, or do you get curious when you actually don't know something? Were you sharing an achievement or an accomplishment or a story to highlight what your skills and your abilities are? Or was it to boast or to brag? Self-awareness and being able to hear yourself is a skill all on its own. And even those who are confident and self-aware can't be so all the time, every moment of every day. So we all can go there. <laughs> so check in, right? This is hard. And sometimes this is very painful work, but it is so incredibly worth doing. Strategy two is to be willing to be wrong and be willing to be quiet. <laughs> Practice your listening skills. Practice being willing to not know something and to admit it. Honesty and openness are attributes of confidence. The difference between someone who doesn't know but is confident in themselves and someone who is arrogant is that the arrogant person will make stuff up because an arrogant person in actual fact is insecure. A confident person is secure in their knowing and in their unknowing. And that doesn't mean they're always secure. It doesn't mean this happens 100% of the time. But a confident person is secure in their knowing and their unknowing. There's a tweetable quote if ever there was one. <laughs> now we come to the secret. Arrogance is annoying and frustrating and makes people mad and makes people stop listening. All the things you don't want to have happen to you in a job interview or a work situation. Confidence, on the other hand, is attractive. It's attractive in work situations. It's attractive in relationships, don't you know? Confidence is one of the best skills you can learn and that you can work on and improve, and you don't need anything special to do so except a willingness to. If you do not already possess inner confidence, then you have the opportunity to learn and acquire this skill. And frankly, being confident will make a massive difference in your life. Now, please consider subscribing to this channel. And next, I'm going to link to a video all about how to become confident and how to appear confident even when you're not feeling it quite yet. So I will see you over there.